Hello everyone, I am uh, at Preeti and uh, Dinesh's place and the lovely couple have uh, invited us for dinner. So I would like to uh, know from them their experience in Germany and also their interesting uh, initiative that they have taken. So let me welcome you first, uh, Preeti and Dinesh. Hi, I'm Preeti Talwar and this is my husband Dinesh and my name is Utobi Rani. Why you already introduced me, my name is Dinesh. Hold on, I'll ask. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so that this is this is my this is Dinesh and uh, Preeti, and behind is the lovely Christmas tree. Yeah. So, uh, Preeti, can you just uh, say something about yourself? Uh, my name is Preeti Talwar. I originally come from England. Uh, my background is nursing, so I'm a nurse that uh, working in A and E and in theatres. And I came to this country four years ago, just after getting married to my husband who's lived here for more. Thanks, thanks Priti. So Dinesh, uh, who, who also happens to be my ex-colleague at Wiley, so Dinesh, can you just say a few words about yourself? Yeah, sure. Like, my name is uh, Dinesh Tawar, even I'm from London as well. I did basically a PhD in chemistry there, then, then I found a job in Germany. Initial idea was to be here for a year, just explore and go back, but yeah, I like the country, I'm still here working, got married, then my wife followed me yep. to Germany as well. So, yeah. Thanks, thanks, uh, Dinesh. Thanks, thanks, Priti. So, like uh, millions of other Indians who are who are staying here, I, I shouldn't say millions, but thousands of other Indians uh, were living in in Germany. So, so you came to Germany, and now you also shared your story about a certain initiative that you have taken. So, can you yes. please uh, talk um, us through about that initiative? I actually started. Um, well, I started my own mini business as such. Uh, so it's a bit like a tiffin service for Indians within Mannheim and um, yeah it worked out really well in the beginning so what it was is was a whatsapp group message and everyone that was interested would uh, be in my whatsapp group and I would do a set menu from Monday to Friday and cook Indian food for them so yeah so it's a bit like a tiffin box service so everyone brought their own boxes uh to my home and i would cook fresh indian food and you'll get roti rice and all the other elements to it and if it was a vegetarian dish it would be six euros if it was a meat dish it was eight euros mm -hmm. okay so uh dinesh uh, the question to you now so how did this idea uh, come up to you was it a joint decision or was it only for one person or how exactly no we, we like we had so many friends you know when we used to go out and there were a couple of indians as well especially students you can say or uh, men or women like here as a uh, professionals anyways um they, they didn't have time to cook or they were missing indian food like especially the home cooked food i mean there are restaurants they can go to but then you know you can't go to a restaurant every day so it was just, I think it was the home cooked um, meal that they were after and mm -hmm. certain things that are not on the menu in the restaurant. Okay. So they were asking and people used to come here anyways uh, for sometimes their friends and they, you know, the idea kind of developed and some, some of people were saying, oh, why don't we you guys think about mm -hmm. this or even we actually were thinking anyways. So we thought maybe we can start a sort of a home cooked, um, you know, meals mm -hmm. yeah. initiative. Okay. So basically, idea basically developed from there when we opened up, uh, I mean, launched a Facebook page, and then on the WhatsApp group as well, um, we had about 300 followers. So yeah, it was going good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, Breeti, can you just tell us what was your cooking experience before? Uh, to be honest, I didn't ha know how to cook at all before I got married. And then, of course, moving to from my parents' home, initially I had my mum who did all the cooking for me, but from moving from that to just me and my husband and eating takeaways for one month just wasn't doable for the pocket or for our health. So slowly, slowly, thanks to YouTube, I started uh, watching some videos and uh, learned how to cook and it started off with things like simple stuff, dal, uh, palau rice, uh, chicken curry, and then before you know it, I've developed a talent for cooking. Great, great. So, so can you also share some experience, Dinesh? Um, uh, how was the initial days like when you started this particular initiative, Preeti's Kitchen? So we also, what we want to do is not like have a sort of a restaurant system where people can call up and we make whatever. So the idea was that you would launch a sort of a pre-menu. So on every Friday or Saturday, we'll have a pre-planned meal. So we only make one curry, for example, or you know, one particular dish. 
So we will make a menu and post it on the group mm -hmm. uh, the yeah. WhatsApp and just ask people to pre-order it by Sunday. So if they want something on Wednesday, for example, they will let us know on Friday. So if it's like, I don't know, Channa Batura on Wednesday, they will like, all right. So at least we know the orders uh, beforehand. So if five people said, yes, we want Channa Batura, so at least we know we need to only make five okay. Uh, okay. portions. So we don't want to because we will have our own full-time jobs anyways. So we, yeah. we, it's not, we can't. Uh, cook to order so yeah. I think like also that. originally we started off just for our friends yeah. and then of course word in my mouth hit and then mm. it just went viral around Baden-Württemberg mm. so I think that's where it sort mm. of yeah it sort of started off because again I had a lot of friends and they had full-time jobs and when you're working eight hours the last thing you want to do is come home and cook for another three hours Right. Especially when it comes to Indian food, right. I mean, it's not where you just put yeah, it in it the time. oven, it takes time. And yeah, so I think it just kind of like, you know, they helped me and I'm just doing something for the community, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so are your orders uh, specifically from Mannheim or where? where? Mannheim, Majority no. was from Mannheim. Majority yeah. was quite local and from but, Mannheim. Yeah, first month was like purely, I think, Mannheim. But then mm -hmm. we obviously friends and, then, and friends from Heidelberg, people right. started calling as well. It's, but a problem was like most people asked for deliveries. And, yeah, and okay. so that was one of Like I said, we are not restaurants yeah. or anything exactly. like that. Mm -hmm. We just asked, okay, if you want, a meal just come to us and just collect it from here right but you know if we had to deliver like i said we, we can't do that for yeah, time so. obviously yeah. so uh i also learned that unfortunately you had to also stop the uh, kitchen yeah due to unfortunately the pandemic yeah, and a lot of our friends had gone back to say india or the other countries that they all came from so it slowly started dying down mm -hmm. but initially when the pandemic sort of hit then that's where Okay. Yeah, because really yeah, you out, couldn't yeah. go to people's houses, and yeah. Yeah. So most pe people, I think, working professionals went back to India. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, that's many people were coming. That's very unfortunate. Uh, that's very unfortunate to hear that. Uh, mm -hmm. But again, so uh, now, uh, Preeti, what uh, suggestion would you like to give for uh, any or Preeti and Dinesh? The question, it's open question to both of you. What kind of suggestion would you like to give to uh, to one, the other I ones would like, like to, to say to those that uh -huh. are planning on coming to Germany is come open-mindedly. Uh, this country is fantastic. It does has it have its ups and downs, but most of the time it's quite a lovely country. I mean, like I said in the beginning, we only plan to be here for one year. I'm still here, and I have a got, uh, I have a job, and I have good friends, and yeah, embrace it. That is the main thing. Keep an open mind and embrace it. Because okay. you don't get a lot of opportunities like this in life. Yeah, I would say that as well. I'll say it, you know, especially if someone's here from India or even in the country, I think they just need to go out and explore. Mm -hmm. Don't be shy. Don't stay in a room or in flat and don't do anything. I mean, this you know, journey is quite lovely. Travel mm -hmm. around, meet people. There's so try much to do. Man. different food and, you know, a lot of people, young people have ideas of developing, you know, starting their own businesses. There are opportunities here as well. They can always speak to us as well. I mean, we're quite, you know, entrepreneur type people anyway. So if okay. someone wants help, we can help. So yeah. okay. thanks, thanks so much uh, for your time. Oh, you're welcome. So, Thank yeah, you that for was, having us. Thank you. So that was Dinesh and Preeti for you, everyone. And uh, I would also like to say I have not experienced uh, any, or I have not ordered from Preeti's kitchen, but I have experienced uh, how Preeti cooks, and it was, I would say, for, honestly, it was delicious. So uh, I would like to say to both of you, a big thank, a big thank for from all uh, the Indians who have, I think, ordered food from you and uh, got experience of you. Oh, so, yeah, thank you again. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye.